So when we started there, it's actually a lot of skepticism from the team, uh, both our own team but across the company, because we were talking about building something of a much larger scale, uh, multiple tens of terabits. In fact, we designed the system to be 90 terabits of capacity. Uh, and when we all got together, we felt that, you know, this might be a tough sell internally. Most people thought we'd maybe sell 10, 20 of these devices. But some of us, uh, particularly myself, had been through this same vision the first time around. In 96, when I joined the company, many people said the same thing about the previous generation of high-end router, which was the GSR series. So when we all came together in early 2000, we put the basic specifications together. Now, if you think about the project, we knew it was going to be a long large project, a lot of investment. We knew that we were going to have to tap into resources all over the company. So we had development uh, all across the globe. We had development here obviously in San Jose, we had it on the East Coast, we had it in London, we had some folks in Scotland, we had India, we had Israel. And so one of the things I did to really motivate the team was to track the progress because we knew it was going to be a long development actually across two ways. The first thing was I knew that this was going to be a foundational changing uh, device that would really set the platform for this converged internet that we all use today. And one of the things for me personally was uh, my children, I'd had my first child, Matthew, and he was about one and a half years old when we really started to lay the first project tracking milestones for the project. So I challenged the whole global team and said, I want, by the time my son is old enough to use the internet, the first time he clicks on a mouse and it goes across the internet to the web, that he's actually going across those packets and they're going across the CRS-1. So we tracked the project that way. The other way we did it was I would think of a, a visual for the team because you need sort of a major goal. And if you think about the CRS, it costs almost half a billion in R&D. It took over four years to build. It's like kind of climbing Mount Everest. It's that type of goal. So we would set our versions of base camps, our milestones along the way. So as we reach one base camp, we would celebrate success. And those successes wouldn't be, you know, do we have a big board? It might be an internal piece of technology. But the team rallied around these base camps. And as we went, we'd have our all hands. We'd get, and, you know, we'd, we'd make our way up the mountain. When we got to the top, planted our flag, of course, my son got to click on his mouse and send his packets across the CRS-1. And I'm proud of that today.